Oh my God, dude. Chased from their homes by fast moving flames. Good evening, I'm Wendy Mesley, and this is The National. More than 200 wildfires are now burning in BC. So we all have to go run fast, get out of there. More help is on the way. In Quebec, a dramatic rescue at a suspicious seniors' home fire. Donald Trump says he wants to battle cybersecurity by teaming up with Russia. Yep, the country accused of hacking the U.S. election. And does Omar Khadr deserve a $10 million settlement? British Columbia is on high alert tonight as a growing number of wildfires rage across the province. Thousands of people have already been forced from their homes, while many more await word to pack up and leave at a moment's notice. This is the current situation. 220 active fires are burning across the province. That's about 50 more than yesterday. Many are out of control with no relief in sight. Today, though, provincial and federal officials announced more help is on the way. Anita Bath starts our coverage tonight. Windy conditions mean little progress, if any, has been made in fighting the growing number of wildfires. The situation is likely to get worse with the hot and dry weather. The uh, wildfire service crews uh, uh, with helicopters and bombers uh, bombing the west side of the river to, uh, to keep the fire from spreading across the river and also to save one of the houses across uh, the river here in the reserve. Esther Spy lived at the Ashcroft Indian Reserve. I just had to go really fast to get away from my house because um, it was coming up the valley, up the gully or whatever. And uh, it's just, we all had to go run fast, get out of there. Spy had to flee her home without her cat socks. He wouldn't come out. I couldn't get him. He was scared and I don't know if he's alive or anything. I don't know where he is. In Williams Lake, the situation is dire with more evacuations and now reports of looting from people's abandoned homes. They took meat out of our freezer. They took our, I believe it's 42 inch uh, flat screen TV out of the living room. They took the portable DVD player, this. They took my husband's shotguns. I thought, how can you do that to somebody that's already going through such stress, tra traumatic, you know, right now, and then come and take them when they're most vulnerable and take their stuff? Like, we're going through enough. Christy Clark is the premier. Until Today, Premier-designate John Horgan toured some of the worst hit areas. Outgoing Premier Christy Clark is making $100 million available to the Red Cross, as well as $600 immediately for each registered evacuee. We are going to be, I think, deploying um, Canadian Armed Forces uh, to support us in any evacuations, should it be required. So they're standing ready to, or standing ready to, to jump to jump in if we need them. Firefighters are on their way from other provinces to relieve some of the exhausted crew members working around the clock. The sense is, though, this fight is nowhere near over. Anita Bath, CBC News, Kamloops.